Hey guys, welcome to the 73rd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to begin our first project. And in this tutorial, we're just going to be going over creating the user interface for our email sender. In the next two to three C Sharp tutorials, we're going to continue to work on this project. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is all this stuff. <laughs> you're going to need a text box for the recipients, one for the subject, one for the body, um, and you're also going to need one for the email and password that the user must supply. Because in C-Sharp, in order to send an email, you must provide an email address and a password from which you're going to send the email. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to group um, these uh, four controls. And in order to do that, we're going to use a group box. So we're just going to basically um, uh, tell the user that they need to provide these credentials. So we're just going to put them in here, and we're just going to rename this group box to credentials, credentials, and we're just going to resize this here, and since we put it in a group box, we can now just move this around, and it'll take all the controls inside it with it. And we're just going to have to resize these things in here so that they all fit. So now, as you can see, that just makes it look a little bit nicer. Um, for the recipient's uh, text box, we're going to have to provide a tooltip to tell the user that when providing multiple recipients, they must separate each email with a semicolon. So we're just going to go down to the toolbox over here and drag a tooltip over. And we're just going to select this text box right here, scroll down on the properties panel until we see tooltip. And we're going to change the text of it to say, um, when providing multiple email addresses, you must separate each with a semicolon. So now, let me debug here and just hover over this text box with some text in it should see that we have a tooltip saying, yeah, when providing multiple email addresses, you must separate each with a semicolon. All right. And also, inside of this password box, we're going to make it so that when typing in a password, you don't, like, actually see the text. So if we were to type in, like, a password right here, like, I don't know that, then you can see it. And people, like, if someone was looking over your shoulder or something, uh, they could see the password. So we're going to make it so that it'll be a star when you type in there. In order to do that, we're going to go over to the properties panel and change this uh, password oh, password character to a star. So now when uh, you type in this uh, text box, you'll see only stars no matter what you type. And if you wanted to, you could make it be like one of those circles that you see in like online password providing things. And you can just go into the character map and select the circle and just copy that. And you can use that as well. I think that makes it look a lot nicer, but it's up to you. You can make that character be anything. So now when we type in here, we see, yeah, the password circle. A couple more things we're going to do is make it so the user cannot maximize or resize the form. So we're just going to go over here and set maximize box to false so they can't maximize it and make it so you can't resize it either because if we allowed them to maximize and resize it, it's just going to look all stretched out and all messed up. So we don't want that. And we're going to make it so you can't resize it, so we're just going to go over to form border style and change that to fixed dialog. Let's just reposition everything right here so that we can uh, see it a little bit better or it makes it look a little bit nicer. All right, yeah, so there. And we're also going to have an image on our send email button. So in order to do that, we're just going to go to iconfinder.com in order to get an image. And I'm just going to type in send. And we should just get a few images here for send. I'm just going to resize this so we have a smaller image for our button. Um, I guess we can use this image. So download it in PNG format, because that's what you're going to need to have it on your button. Then go back to C-sharp have your button highlighted or selected, 
and then go over to the properties panel and under image just browse for the image you just downloaded make sure you click uh, local resource and then select import and then you can browse for the image you just downloaded just uh, select the send image that we just downloaded and as you can see right now it looks fine but it, it's behind it so in order to do that we're just going to go over to image align and change that to uh, this to make it be in front of it just gonna stretch it out a little bit oh and you can also change it to like that or any side or position that you want I'm gonna make it the uh, that side though so make this button a little bit bigger so it doesn't look uh, cut off and there now we have a nice little image for our send email button so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on setting up the user interface for our project so see you guys